Hello everybody, Hankers Goss here, also Skeffin Creations, and today we're back in Okami, where last time, we went around Kimiki Village, checking out all the residents, see how things are going, and we ended off seeing it as a boulder block in the village, even though we already saw that before, but now that merchant there is sent us to go get Susano, the local legendary, I guess you call him, the great warrior, Susano, jeez, it's not even spelled right, yeah, great warrior, but not a great speller. Sheesh, still snoring like a bear. It's a home of two bit middle aged warriors, Yusano. He goes around claiming to be a descendant of Nagi. He's famous around here for his lineage, but he's awfully lazy and too off the wall to be a descendant of the legendary hero. I mean, Link's always sleeping in every game, but he's always the hero. And the freedom of being able to explore the environment here compared to Okami then. It's so refreshing. I can't get that close to his house, I guess. But it's still more than Okami, then. Alright, then. He's magically opening the door, so that just goes into the floor. How does that work? So, there's a little bit of Z clipping right here in this top step. Better watch out for that, you might trip over that. So, can I? I'll take it orange. Alright, then. He's got, he's got a little shrine right here. Let's break it. Looks like an etching of that Kushi girl. I wonder if this guy actually trains at all. This is apples. He's got a Kushi shrine. In the second, he'll call me down in the second hand. That shrine actually changes to be something else. It's pretty neat. Did I break his sword in the right there? Or is that like that? So you only expand ink if you actually break something. Anyways, let's pick a pot here. Hey, is it just me or can you hear snowing from underneath this jug? Oop. Get some money for our efforts. There's a ladder here. I am the greatest. Kushi, let's let's wake this guy up. What the? Huh? Ah, I feel so well rested. I plan to meditate underground, but fell fast asleep. Huh? Who are you? What business do you have with Susano, the greatest warrior ever? The great warrior Susano. Do even the beasts know my great exploits now? Oh, Fido, I'm not looking for any apprentices. Mommy's is so cute right now. I love that. I love her. Go back to the mountains and play with your monkey friends. Yeah, I don't like monkeys, honestly. How oh, dare I made you mount like you and interrupt my meditation? Get a load of this guy. All brawn and no brains. Quit messing around and come with us. Hmm? You snuck in here again? Quit bugging me, you. You bug. <coughs> I told you, don't call me a bug. I Chugga also said this. I like how he's he jumping up and down like a PowerPoint presentation. Absolutely no animation there. Come on, Ami. We're taking him with us. Who do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. What will the neighbors think? Oh, he stole the man. Oh, descending descendant. Meet Tusano. Achievement. I'm kind of weird if he sleeps underground. I hope he's not hiding because he's scared of the monsters. We got Tusano. <laughs> <laughs> we went flying there at the top of the stairs. It's a picture of Kushi. His pop's actually really training or what? Can I take him to Kushi? Or is it all okay? Cuts me over to the merchant. <laughs> We're going for a ride, old man. We're going for a ride. Hey, Mr. Orange, hello, Mr. Orange. 
Oh, Susano, that sure looks like fun. But shouldn't you be practicing your sword play? <laughs> what, you sure weird, Susano? Is that supposed to be some new kind of training or what? You have nothing to say, he's in panic. It better not, it better not be you messed up my guard, Susano. You would get a good thumping if it is. No, I miss it. Muji's mom, I'm always thumping everyone. Wait, wait, where do you think you're taking me? No, I can't take him to see Kushi. Maybe if I didn't repair the rice mill when I did, I could have talked to her with him on her back. Alright then, off to the merchant. Can we save him on her back? Yeah. I don't need to though. Use his control scheme. I'm trying to use an Undertale control scheme. That was funny. Hello, bunny. Thank you with the Sue. Now I dropped the bunny. You mean you might. You brought me all the way here just to tell yourself against me? Never appear to taste the wrath of my trusty blade. Tohan Boku. I skipped that accent. Hold on, hold on a minute. You're the lecture of Susano? Yep, I'm Northern Tusano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. By the way, never interrupt warriors engaged in battle. Well, I got a favor to ask you. <laughs> this huge boulder blocking the path is really getting in my way. Can't you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you're a Nogget's descendant, aren't you? Surely it's one stone's no match for your mighty skills, right? Eh. Yeah. It's certainly not beyond my ability. Really great. Okay then, no time like the present. Go for it. Wait! A boulder of this size is not very easy even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. Hmm. I wonder. I've never seen this guy trained seriously ever. The, the, the big rocky is walking nowhere out of the village. I don't think you can choose to anywhere. I don't know if you safely. I want to talk to the guy. Can that guy really handle this? Oh well. I guess all I can do is wait here. <laughs> you know, all you can do. You can't. You can't. You can't. Someone get a boat and get you through the river. Yeah, he's, he's, over, he's over here. <laughs> he's drinking. <laughs> he's kind of pouring on Ami's face right now. I know I told that merchant I could help. A boulder of that size? I don't care if I'm a legendary. I don't care if I'm off a legendary bloodline. It's just too big. I don't know. I can't believe I ran out of sake at a time like this. This won't do one bit. That's it for today. I almost have to train tomorrow. Do you have sake to feel the fire? Jing won't have to wait till tomorrow. What do you, why do you today? What can be put off until tomorrow? Let's do the sun away. <laughs> Procrastination. Sake? Wait, this village has a sake brewing girl, doesn't it? Yeah. It's no use. I can't even move. Well, we know what to do already, because I was already there. I okay, have interrupted proceedings. To go back to the sake brewery place, I guess the rice pulping place. Grab that. First, grab a pet from Kushi. And grab his sake. She gave to us. He has to say. <laughs> He's in the way. I knew sake is my whole life, you know. One day I'll produce sake that will be remembered in legend forever. Oh, well, yes, you will, Kushi. Yes, you will. <laughs> it gets slightly smaller when you hold it in your mouth. Oh, but it's, yeah, when, th when things sort of pulse like that, they're about to despawn. Be wary of that. I wonder if anyone else responds to the sake. Hey, is that is that the new king of hole? Is it? Hey, it's the new king of holding, Snowy. You may have set a record, but my mama flipped her wig. Still, High Boots is never gonna stop trying to break it. High Boots is cute. I love him. All the, all the both the dogs in this game so far are great. Cherry cakes, cherry cakes. All right. No one has anything unique to say. Let's get some extra water in the sake before we give it to Susano. Let's water it down a bit. <laughs> mm. 
Hold it right there, Fido. What smell? Is that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake? You offered Vista of the Gods. But Fido, my friend, did you bring me some of Kushi's sake? Oh, what a glorious day. Ah, good old sake. A man without a drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. In fact, it is said that Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in his battle with the dreaded Orochi. It's also clear now. Let the training begin. I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come. Shall not get off so easy next time, dummy. Yeah, we need to help him here. Get mentally prepared here. Okay, here I come. Yeah, we need to help him with this. His wooden sword can't even cleave these dummies. Oop. Feast your eyes on this on this. To solemn style, exploding a potion! Cut the tree in the background too. Huh? Aya! By the way, we couldn't break the bullet normally by ourselves if we tried. We need to sign ourselves for that. So we sign style. Exploding implosion! Who? <laughs> That's amazing! You slice a huge rock clean in half. <laughs> He's looking at his sword confused. You really are something. Well, I didn't think you could do it, Pops. So everybody has a nickname in this game. Susano's is Pops. Me either. Uh, I mean, of course I could. He's eyelashes, though. After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever. You weren't just sh showing off when you said you were not a descendant. So, someone like you would have, have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? Yeah, well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. <laughs> and he freezes on the edge of the screen. <laughs> okay. Did you, did you say m m m monsters? Oh, uh, of course, no problem. It's a job for the most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yes. I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susano work his magic. And off he goes. <coughs> he shouldn't get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. Think that he'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, glorious Amaterasu. Oh, hello there, Sakya. I see the cameras are merely focusing on your ambiguous peach pattern. What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I am in awe. <laughs> when you cleave the boulder into two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with the brush is to be witness to great art. Yeah, so do we get a ward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Isun, 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 Isun. Stop calling me a bug. I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. <coughs> My word. Don't threaten me with a good time. So that's your jiggle physics also. Ah, relax, lady. Our balls here is more comfy anyway. I can make a joke there, but I'm not going to. Let's get back to that reward thing you were talking about. Come on, Ami. Put your paw up or something. Go on, shake. Put your paw on him instead. Doggo and doggo paws. I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. Now my body stands firmly here within the, the confines of the village. My roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are, are known as guardian saplings. There's one of those flowers in a glowy spot behind it. 
They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will wolf away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Oh man, this is getting heavy. Great and powerful Amaterasu, could I be so bold as to request your assistance in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. There's two of them nearby. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. I hope that my request has not fallen on deaf ears. After Matarasu, may the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. There she goes. I like how the little tail of the text box trails are moving there. Bah. I'm always itching for a good fight, but... I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with the furball here until I get all the brush skills. Anyway, I'm a go god now. What could possibly go wrong? You know, using little do you know. Hey, do you listen to her, Furball? You get the rest of the brush techniques to save the world, and I'll steal and learn them. Yeah, that's a ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. Yeah, sure thing, you soon. This version just has a shop right here. Okay, then, I guess I better offload some stock for heading back. Yeah, you had this whole booth inside your pack, apparently. You're here to take a look if you're been sent to do some shopping. Do the shopping, pup. Do some shopping, yes. I like how people just trust that this dog has come and sent off some quest. Anyways, here's a shop where you can buy stuff. Feed bags. Vengeance slip. Paper de depicting karmic backlash. Temporary defect enemy attacks. It's temporary invulnerability. Exorcism slip. Paper depicting holy incantation. Slightly damages nearby enemies. It damages all enemies in the battle. Steel Fist Sake. Sake brewed with the Spirit of Steel. It temporarily increases attack power. Steel Soul Sake. Sake brewed with the Spirit of Steel. It temporarily increases defense. Holy Bone Ass, we already know what that one. The cells of items are being used. We're going to need feedbacks here for different animals later. I think, just in case, I'm going to buy one of each. The keyboard controls. Prepared. So selling, we can sell stuff we got. We can sell the stuff we got to. Never really cut there. So he's always treasures that we've picked up. Dragonfly beater, hundred, a thousand, one hundred yen. Cool fragment, seventy hundred yen. I'll, I'll sell them. Why not? Like our money in spades. Okay, how much? So how much did I leave me with? Sixty thirty. I think it's enough for now. Okay. And nightfall approaches. Before I leave the village now, I want to go and get those cherry cakes of Miss Orange. Just stand inside her house until nightfall comes. <laughs> Alright then, since it's nighttime, let's go claim a reward. I almost forgot. I promised you some cherry cakes, didn't I? I could do some fresh ones in the jiffy. You wait right there. Oh, too daisy. What's a cutscene here? I think it's a reverence. And cherry cakes. Phew. Take these with you, dear. They're best when they're fresh. You consume cherry cake. Cherry flavored sweet bean cake. Nice. Sorry, she gave me food and then I bite her. 
Now she respawns. Back more cherry cakes, are you? I have to make some. I have to make some more. Come back tomorrow evening. I just want to talk to you. Ah, you're that unruly white wolf. That was quite a toss you gave me. Well, white one, I respect animals and their customs. But anyone who causes trouble in this village shall be dealt with harshly. You are a smoky little thing, aren't you? Hello, Mr. Orange. Still full of vim and vigor, I see. Say, aren't you that little tall maker, Isu? I told you once. I've told you a thousand times. Oh, never mind. I've got better things to do. Yeah, no one to cut your losses. Do you notice the sacred tree up on the hill in the village? She's known as Konohana. She's been worshipped as our guardian deity for ages now. Her flowers and fruit withered quite some time ago. What's more, I had a dreadful dream last night. A giant monster appeared and swallowed up the whole village. Might it be a sign of even worse things to come? <laughs> I sure would like to see Konohana restored to her former glory. Oh well, troublemakers like you couldn't possibly understand. Can I break your thing again? Oosh. Make a little extra food off of you. Alright, see ya. Bye. Lantern actually light up. I didn't know that you did that. You don't see a flame inside it, it doesn't look a little weird, but it's thought that counts. That was a chicken, so that was something else for a second. Alright then. This game controls very well, by the way. Let's rise compared to the Weaver. Imagine that. The one the one time where almost doesn't like motion controls. <laughs> so by the way, I don't remember if I clarified, but I mentioned before that. I, I did get very far in the Wii version of the game. Well, the point I stopped that it was a get first reaching the Camuso up, up over there on the crossroads after restoring the village for the first time. That was the farthest I got in the Wii version of the game before I gave up because I'm bad at the controls there. So that, here, I've actually gone further than I ever have before. I haven't for quite a while now. At least, you know. I still don't know exactly what happens in the whole game, but still, the experience is all fresh for myself would be nice. Wait, I'll let me feed these guys. Hmm. Uh, can rabbits eat herbs? I think I think they eat herbs. Yeah, that was the correct one. I was here before us. Hey guys. You, you, you look, you, you're cowering. Hmm. I think the animation broke there. Yeah, put you back down. There you go, fixed you. Alright then, I'll buy another herb seed bag. Here I go. They have to buy things in the middle of the night, do they? Yep. You can get used to your controls. Buy one of these. And, then, and also, I want it to be daytime again. So let's see here. Now oh, I heavily bungled that up. That's not how you're supposed to do that. How was it? It's like this. Yeah, like that. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. I was hoping that would work. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> As you can skip that cutscene. Okay, I think we're good to go then. Out we go, out of town. Leaving town for the first time. <laughs> Alright, that's a long stream. Shinsu Field. Not looking too good out here. Huh? You probably know this already, Ami, but this here is Shinsu Field, the most beautiful field in Nippon. Here's your Hyrule Field, basically. At least it's supposed to be. But ever since that incident, I've been getting a bad vibe. We are watch where we're going. Can you look at the map by holding down V? Let's pay attention to the map if you push ahead. Because I've changed that key. It's R now. Look at all of that gloom and malice over there. Covering the field. It's gloomy music. Have I heard this song before? I don't feel like I've heard this song before. I mean, Chug I didn't really stop all of them often. That kind of thing in his way through. It's out here. These things. These are demon schools. Oh, never mind. 
Oh my god, that's the first Guardian something marked on our map. It's supposed to be a place for travelers to rest and recuperate. Just look at it. Just look at it. It looks like it'll fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed. From the looks of it. A place where evil has taken hold, luring monsters far and wide. And known as cursed zones. I've never seen one this big. It's weathered all the plant life in the area, even that big tree. <coughs> It'll take a monster with powers beyond even a god to do this. That tree is an offshoot of Sakya. It protects the nature in this area. The piece of is part of her. We get the nature, natural beauty here will return if we revived it. But how the heck would we do that anyways? Could we do that anyways? We'll just have to find a way. Anyways, these are demon scrolls. These right here... ...are your random encounters on the field. These are your random encounters out in the field with monsters. Where these schools are, you encounter monsters and you run into them. Look at all your goods. Is there a second phase? No. Okay. Oh yeah, there are escape points here. There's lights here. So those lights are on the edge of the battlefield. If you attack those enough, they open up and let you escape. Anyways, curse zone, huh? Let's go in. Holy cow, it is bad. Look like your regular old curse over back there. The evil here is far worse close up. You can curse a normal person in a flash. I'm afraid I might even rob you of your power. It drains you if you're in there, so don't stay in there. That's bad. Right there. Can I break this? No. I got feedback there, though, I think. What is this? Tejana Valley. Over there. Yeah, it's really shady in this one corner. That looks weird. It's a pastel watercolor effect. Alright, so let's walk up to the tree first. Have a look at it. When I mean, you look at that army, this guardian type is a wreck. So that's why Sakya is hurting so bad. But the natural beauty will be returning to revive that tree. How can you possibly do that? It's much of power. We can wear the tree bloom. Yeah, all these trees have belts too. And so the way it's shaded below the belt always makes it look like it's wearing a skirt as well. It's not though. Oh, hello, someone could suck out here. Can I examine you like going to curse him? Another statue. Has everyone here turned to stone? That has been stuck struck by some terrible curse. The only way to help them is rid, uh, rid of this cursed zone of evil. I there was a save mirror around here. Maybe it's only in the sequel. In the second game. Okay, you know what though? I'll cut it off right there though. Next time, we head towards Hana Valley in an attempt to purge the evil. Oh yeah. There's also giant signs in the sky that tell you what areas are. Like, Chuck never pointed those out in his playthroughs. So I was confused whenever I saw them in a distance. But yeah, it's just signage for game play purposes. So, the next time we'll go there. So, until then, my name is Akris Gauss, I was in the Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.